I think the overarching theme for me is this idea of trust amidst the most dire circumstances. I think we see that playing out that even though Jesus, there, Jesus is going through so much, the disciples go through so much this season. I think continuing to keep their eyes on him and to just put their faith in him is something that he keeps communicating and trying to teach them again and again and again. And they're not really getting it. Here and there they are. But for me, I just relate to that so much. It's something that I need to do. It's constant, that constant act of surrender to to the divine will of God in my life. And uh, yeah, you know, things don't always go our way. What do we do when that happens? And uh, when you can let go and detach from your version of how you want things to go, that's complete freedom. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. Even you asking me that honestly brings me back to seeing him down in Herod's dungeon. And that day that we filmed that, that was like a 10 hour day. And the experience of, of saying to him, you know, I'm thinking about you every day. I'm praying for you every day. What can I do to help you? And he's like, you are focusing on the wrong thing. You have a new rabbi now, you need to focus on Jesus. And that's a really hard thing to hear because you wanna be there for someone you care so deeply about. And so the fate of John the Baptist is a tragedy. And you see how Andrew tries to deal with it in a way that he probably wouldn't have dealt with it a few seasons ago. You see the growth and the growing pains in Andrew, and um, I was really happy that I, I you know, tried to, to bring that to light and, and that the growth and the shift so that it's not just <laughs> Andrew flying off the rails. This is our deepest season yet. I think it's our most mature season yet, and it might be our saddest season yet. Uh, because Jesus is sad. Uh, in season three, he was saying to others, come to me, you weary and heavy laden, I will give you rest. Now he's weary and heavy laden, he needs rest. He's getting comforted by others. He's getting increasingly saddened and frustrated by humanity, by the reason he has to die uh, is, um, is saddening to him. And that's from scripture. We see him weep over Jerusalem. We see him um, get frustrated at the religious leaders and we see him get frustrated at his own followers. And so we're starting to show that in this season. And yes, season four is the beginning of the end, and that does apply a certain level of weight to it. But we know it's coming, and it's not always going to be this sad. Well, one of the most famous Bible verses is Jesus wept. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so how, why, what did that look like? We're going to take the time to explore that. Um, oh God, I'm blanking. I got you. He's gonna say two spoilers. <laughs> you know, we're gonna say. What does he say? Uh, oh yes. Rise. 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 That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Dun, dun. You got you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I love about uh, Thomas is just his, you know, in a weird, silly way. It's like his hesitancy to do things. He's just so careful. He's he's so thoughtful. He's so meticulous, and I really appreciate that. And I feel like that balances uh, how Rama is, where she's just so full of life and just so wanting to go here and do this and just do all the things. And he kind it it kind of sets. It, they just it's a good balance between the two. I love that. He grounds her. Yeah. 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 But she also has her. In her, her like she gives him her. a little bit of uh, of just like life and injecting some gusto and ex exploration and explorative kind of uh, um, experience with life. Yeah.
You know, uh, where Matthew ends in season three, you see him finally fully devoted into his faith and just, you know, uh, not ashamed of, of his past and just kind of learning from that. So in this season, you see him continue, continuing to grow and trying to be the best person he can be, which is uh, finding his own voice, being that leader that he is, and just kind of uh, being devoted. But it's not its not an easy picture, right? You're seeing so many different things. It's not uh, one linear thing. So he isn't understanding uh, the, the burden that Jesus is feeling or the pressure he's feeling, but he's trying his best. So that's what we can take from the season is, is Matthew continuing to try his best and be his best in the season and in, in, in his life. And that's something I always just kind of relate to. I, I say to you all the time is that uh, that's how I grow from him personally. There is a giant Quintus bust and it is glorious. So it, it was a challenge for me not to just cackle every time I saw it in the scene, because obviously I'm supposed to be taking it very seriously. You know, he's Quintus, he takes himself very seriously. But I kept looking at this other actor and seeing this bust and um, it was hard not to, uh, pun intended, bust the take. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I didn't get a good look at it. Did they actually do it of your faith? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was hard I, but, to tell in the shot. You know, the defining feature has less to do with my face and more to do with, uh, uh <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, and I, I think, you know, in, in terms of, like, season four, like, where Quintus is going, I think we've seen the pressure building, you know, for the previous three seasons, and, uh, I think it sort of breaks in, in season four. What well, can you tease? Uh, I can tease that uh, it's an unforgettable scene. I can tease that it is explosive, that it is uh, incredibly powerful. It is, um, there is darkness, there is despair. Gosh, we were just laughing and now we're talking about this and what it sort of changes the tenor kind of immediately. I've had a few situations where you've had, I've had families come up to me and it's not a celebrity thing. They're not like squealing like if they saw Justin Bieber. It's a, we need to say thank you. And they start crying. Um, and I've had multiple experiences where um, like a mother of a severely special needs child comes up to me um, and says, this is the only show he'll watch. Um, and to see that kind of impact from uh, everyone from an 85-year-old woman to an 8-year-old boy to a teenager to parents and families. Um, the fact that they have similar responses where, they, where, they're, where they're crying because they just need to, to tell you thank you. Um, I, I don't know that it can get better than that. I don't know that there, there's, any, there's anything that you can endeavor to do in the arts uh, that's better than getting a response like that. And that's been the most meaningful for sure. And to see it happen in other countries has also been pretty surreal and beautiful. You know, as an actor, uh, you always kind of hope for this sort of an outcome. Uh, never did I think it would come playing the role of Jesus and the enormity of the success and the continued growth of this show worldwide and beyond boundaries, it's just, mind-boggling to me but what it's really done for me is brought me deeper into my own faith and forced me to rely on it in a way that has become indispensable even the, the the personal situations in my life now that I'm dealing with we all go through stuff and uh, it's like I was just saying before I've had to commit more and more of it, more of myself to, to, to God's divine will. And just be grateful for the opportunity to even get to do that, you know? And it's allowed me to, to carry the weight in a way that I probably wouldn't have carried a couple of years ago. I, I probably would have crumbled through the anxiety and the stress of it. Now I just bring it to prayer. I offer it up and I'm like, okay, there is, uh, there is something, there is a lesson I'm going to get from it. 
and uh, I hope I, I recognize it when I know what it is. And maybe it might not be for another 10 years, five years, whatever. But I know there's something to it. So I don't worry about what that is, what, about what that thing will be once it's revealed, if it ever gets revealed. But I know it's okay. It'll be okay. Thank you.